it's Chris from Holy Moly Recycling and today we're talking about vacuums. Ladies, don't get excited. We're not cleaning the house. We're paying the mortgage. Okay guys, we're back in the shop. We have a bunch of different vacuum motors here out of all kinds of different carpet cleaners, Oryx, Hoovers, Dirt Devils. We have all kinds of stuff. This big guy is your most common type of vacuum cleaner motor that you're going to find. So let's take it apart and scrap it for copper. So a lot of these motors will have these little rubber gaskets on there. You just pull it off and throw it away. The next thing you need to remove are the motor bushings, brushings. And uh, should just be a Phillips screw that you can unscrew. There will be one on each side. Oh, that one kind of fell apart. This one still has some of the copper wrapped around it. We'll just clip it. It'll easily fall off like that. And we'll do the other side the same way. Okay, and we'll clip that little bit of copper, not missing out on much. Now we'll save these because they look like they have brass in them. And so we'll take them apart later. Now what we want to do, clean up our area a little bit, and that's what you have. Now, this casing here needs to come off, and there's really no good way to do it other than to beat it at an angle right here, just all the way around so it pops off. So I have a two-pound hammer and a regular hammer. Either will work, doesn't matter, and we'll just pound. It's gonna make some noise. It's gonna be loud. But there you go. Now that's steel, so we'll throw that in the steel pile. Now this rim here, now the washer in here and the nut are gonna be steel, but this is aluminum. So we're gonna take that off. Now I should tell you, this one, most of them are 10 millimeters, this one seems to be a 12. And you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver kind of wedge it in there and these are reverse threads so you want to be tightening it to untighten it and there it is it's already popped okay, so that will just come off so you've got your you got a little bit of aluminum and now the next thing we need to do is take these screws out and that can go in your steel pile too if you want oh there seems to be another washer on here There we go, that came off. That's plastic, so you can throw that away. So all we gotta do is remove these four screws to remove this housing, and you can already see the copper inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Just standard Phillips. Might be a little snug. Have to use some elbow grease. Sometimes I put it in the vise just to hold it. Try to get an angle where everybody can see what I'm doing here. How about we just pound out the top? Now this can go into your, you can remove that if you want, it doesn't matter, but this can go into your electric motor pile. So they'll still buy this for 8 to 10 cents a pound. Now what we have in here is your copper. Now it's got a little plastic container, as you can see it breaks real easy. And this is where the vise comes in handy, because you are going to have to beat that out. I usually 
you do is just take a screwdriver, flathead, use it like a chisel. Because this is glued in here. So you can already see it spinning. It doesn't take much. it all the way. Now once you've beaten and cleared it all the way around with your chisel or flathead screwdriver, you can actually go through the little crack and pry up. So here it comes, it's coming slowly. It, it is coming. And this is another piece of steel for your steel pile. So they're glued in there pretty good. And then just like a fan motor, We're going to cut them and fry it from the other side. So again, with my aviation nips, break these off, little plastic clips, just so I can get in there. Maybe pry it up just a hair. Break this off all the way. Yeah, that's easier. We'll snap that plastic out of our way so we can see what we're doing. I'll go ahead and do this side. And we'll shove our aviation nips in there best we can. Might take a couple of cuts. side here. You could use a wire cutters or whatever you got. Okay, now that we're almost, there we go, now that we're cut all the way through, we'll just flip it over so it holds. Pry the copper right out. Still got a little bit of plastic on it that just pulls away and that's half of it that's pretty good and we'll pry up the rest oh came right out of the vise with that one probably don't even need it there's some more going everywhere Now we'll just finish prying out the rest of the copper. There it goes. Ah. So, some more steel. You can get the little plastic paper out. And you got some more steel for your steel pile. And at the end, you got a nice little handful of copper wire. And here's one more quick tip for you. When you're scrapping vacuums, don't forget the canister. With a simple cleaning, these things sell on eBay between $20 and $30 a pop, so it's worth your effort. Whether you sell parts or not, don't just throw it away, make some more money. Hey guys, it's Chris from Holy Moly Recycling, and today we're talking about vacuums. Ladies, don't get <laughs> just a bucket, kill it.